everybody and welcome to a bonus episode of Minecraft Short Stories. In this bonus episode, I am going to be telling a short history of Hero Brian. And I am doing this because I the next story I'm gonna do on this podcast is some Hero Brian stories. Like o- over the span of a few episodes, I'm going to do a Hero Brian story. So I thought I would kick it off with a bonus episode saying a short history of Hero Brian. Okay, let's begin the story. On August 2010, a player in alpha stage of Minecraft explored the relatively new game. After wandering an uncertain amount of time, he saw a figure. It resembled Steve. Purple pants, blue shirt. The only difference was his white, bloodless eyes. The player told his experiences online to a small audience. It sort of died out from there. Leeching off an interesting story and scary idea, Copeland, a streamer from the channel BroCraft, did a live tour of his house only a few months later. He walks around and explains the build, all the while forgetting about a small room down the stairs. Finally, he remembers the room and walks in. A staring hero Brian greets him, who is later known to be a retextured painting. Copeland then orchestrates a fearful scream and stops the stream. Later, he came back and shows that Herobrine is gone. The only remaining remnant of Copeland's stream is a hazy screenshot showing Herobrine's white eyes. After the stream, many more people knew of Herobrine and his tendencies to scare. Another streamer by the name of Patamus did a video too, where he showed a retextured door that looked like Herobrine floating over a player-made lava pit. You may be wondering, where did Herobrine get his name from? Well, when the player who first saw Herobrine posted his report and started telling his story, on the internet, an unknown person with the username Herobrine messaged one word, stop. Minecrafters have been texting or tweeting Mojang, is Herobrine real? Since the first sighting. Mojang has always said that Herobrine is not real and a myth. Notch has always denied that Herobrine is a glitch, or a remembering for his dead brother, which he said was never a real thing and he never had a brother. You may also be wondering why, even with this harsh denial from Notch and Mojang, players still believe that Herobrine is real. I think it's because in the earliest days of Herobrine, Mojang tweeted that Herobrine isn't real, but watch out for him in the future. Speculations varied from he is a virus or glitch, to a practical joke for Mojang, to a hacker trying to frame the populace, to Notch's dead brother coming back into the game. Coded back into the game. After the sighting, Mojang staged a removed hero brine in every update since Alpha in 2011. Ways to know if you have a cursed or hero brine world is to see the following 13 characteristics. 1. Mossy brick crosses. That is crosses made out of mossy stone bricks or mossy cobble. 2. Random redstone torches placed in strange places. So if you're on a valley and you see a torch and it's redstone, probably run away. 3. 2 by 2 unnatural tunnels in mountains, ravines, or hills. So if you're trekking along in the Minecraft and see a hill with a 2 by 2 tunnel, Probably don't go inside of it if you like your world. Number four. You leaving your house with doors closed and finding them open or mined on return. So you leave your house for a long day of mining ahead. You close the doors behind you. You come back floating on the ground or open. You know Herobrine was there. 5. A forest devoid of leaves. If you're exploring and you find a forest with no leaves, here Brian was there. 6. Broken glass during the night. So think about it this way. If you have that subtitle thing where it says what's happening like on the screen in little like words down in the right hand corner, it says like foot footsteps or breaking block, then that's what I'm talking about. So if you're like going to bed, Just as the world goes dark and then while you're sleeping, you see broken glass. Herobrine was 
right there. Seven, actual sightings. So, the ones I can think of are him being behind a tree or walking along, being on top of a tree off in the distance. Yeah, like standing places looking out of distance. That's the most common one. The scariest one I think that he could do is you're sleeping in a bed and as you're falling asleep and the everything's going dark, you see his face appear at the window or appear over you for a split second. That would be the scariest thing I could think of for him to do. Next one, number eight, Steve slash skeleton heads. So if you're like mining, you find one of those two by two tunnels, go to the end of it for some reason. You find a Steve or a skeleton head, you should probably be scared. Next one, number nine, mobs spawning in unusual light levels. So if you're inside your brightly lit 15 brightness house and then a creeper spawns right next to you and blows up all your possessions and you, your brain is laughing at you from a distance. Next one, ten, a two by one tunnel lined with redstone torches. A two by one tunnel is the kind of tunnel that you make that's a player high and a block wide. And if it's lined with redstone torches, like, placed at intervals along it, don't follow it, like, at all. Eleven, signs warning you with runaway or beware or another creepy message. For example, find a redstone torch inside, like, a valley, one of those, like, num that was number two or three strange redstone torches. And then a sign is placed and you see it, like, typing, on it's self-typing with nothing near it, or it already has, like, beware on it. Or, like, turn around. If you can't take a scare, probably don't turn around. Just run. But, hopefully you don't have a cursed world. Next one. 12 odd things happening that is unusual from gameplay. For example, finding a wither. Or an ender dragon inside the overworld. Or 50 trees stack on top of each other. Or the nether has, like, water in it. It could be glitches, but it could be Herobrine. And then finally, 13, chests with unusual and unspawnable loot for the structure. For example, you go into a dungeon and you find a redstone torch and a Steve head. Herobrine was there. And he was very certainly there. And final note, the removed hero Brian has showed up in every update except one, 1 1.16. For me, that is the current update, 1.17 is not out yet. And also, one that makes you think, is hero Brian watching me? 1.16 is the 10 year anniversary of hero Brian. I think that they did add hero Brian. I don't think they added it to Java because everyone could see the code. I think they added it to Bedrock and Xbox and My Pocket Edition. All those because you can see the code, can you? I think that Java, Pure Brian is just your little brother or sister or like, I don't know, parents if they were like mean, playing a trick on you and putting the Hero Brian mod. Because there's so many Hero Brian mods for Java, but like, I can't think of any. Here, I don't even know if it's possible to have, like, hero brand mods or mods in general for Xbox and PE. So, watch out all the PE players and Xbox players, because hero brand is definitely watching you. It is now time for a quiz. This is a hero brand quiz and kind of a comprehension quiz, because this... The answer is from the history I just told you. So the question is, when was the first sighting of Herobrine? The options are A, August 2010, B, May 2012, C, October 21st, 2013, and then, finally, October 2010.
take a moment to gather your decision. The answer is A, 2010. If you would like to send me your short story, go to minecraftshortstories.com and submit your story. And if you would like to contact me, go there as well and go to the contact me page. Thank you all so much for listening to the special episode of Minecraft Short Stories. Watch out for the next episode, which will be the beginning of the Herobrine story. And thank you for listening.